Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here. And well, as you may notice, you're on the old camera. But I've got the uh six uh discharge modules here. Sitting amongst a pile of screws here. Which I have the plate that it's going to be going on to. Let me uh readjust the camera. Hey, you can see it a little better. So, just drilled a bunch of holes in it. I uh, made sure to make them fairly uh, even. I used one board to measure them out, basically. I did all the measurements on the back. The only problem is I kind of put that line in the wrong spot. It's That line is supposed to be down here. That way I can have a bunch of room at the top which I can put the boards on. I'll show you that in a minute, but let me talk about the screws. So what I did was I took the board, just focus in like that, and the problem with these standoffs is you can probably see there's not much room to screw anything in. So in order to have two screws in there, there's basically nothing. So what I have is these teeny tiny little screws that I actually get from uh, laptop hard drives, like this guy. If they have any sort of uh, cage or caddy, something like this. They'll have these screws in the side. So I need two and a half inch drive. So just have that in the corner since I don't quite have enough of these, but I'm sure at work I could. Um, the only problem is my holes are not at all uh, perfectly aligned, so it'd be hard to get them in anyway. So. I just put those screws down in from the top so that goes down and then the uh, standoff goes in there and then I can fit one of these guys back into it. Um, I don't know where I got all of these from but I'm sure if you take apart enough electronics you'll find enough so I'm going to find that last screw and get these all screwed in. Doo -doo. Huh, well, I knew there was something fishy. Whoops. <laughs> so, I guess it looks like I will be redoing the uh, holes anyway. This time I'm going to put them with this line so that they're down. Well, that was a whole waste. Anyway, one of these is bad anyway, this one. Uh, I'll show you on the computer, hold on. Well, momentary intermission. This is probably how it's going to look pretty close. Um, except uh, these are supposed to move over and yeah, this one's uh, supposed to be in there uh, somewhere as well. So, anyway, to the computer. 
Okay, this shouldn't be too terrible, except for my shaky fingers. Um, so, this is my results. So what I did was I took a random, well not random, my only uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, 18650 that I had, connected the discharge board to that test one that I had the wires on, and if you watched any of my previous videos you'll see that. Uh, charged on one of the LM2596's, the HV ones. So these are my results. This is the first discharger there. There is the second one. I don't know why I only did two tests. This one I did three. Next one I did three. Fifth one I did three. Sixth one I did three. And then I retested the first one because if I go over to the graph, you can tell the capacity has been slowly raising. You can just about see that sort of curve there. And so I retested number one, so if we connect the line like that, you can see there's a slope up. So it looks like LFE cells do actually uh, have a memory effect, because this uh, single cell was um, a f probably five year old, uh, maybe not five, but four. Um, hasn't been used in quite a while. So, yep. But unfortunately, you can see there on number five, well, fifth one, reads really high. And we go back to here. Number five, not scaling. It's low at 500 milliamps and high at greater than one amp. So it was, they're obviously calibrated at one amp, but it um, doesn't keep its calibration, it doesn't scale, right? So lower current um, is a lower, yeah, at lower current, it's actually a lower actual current and if it's higher it's actually a higher current so yeah so we'll see if I can get number five replaced there's another one that is number four there point one one volts high reading except on four wire that's the voltage and on four wire it's point oh one volts low so four wire is actually pretty decent but uh, maybe I can get two free units and use them for other things. Maybe have a seventh one for uh, ESR measuring. Maybe. I'll put it up on the uh, board. Maybe connected to the uh, uh, four wire tester there. Maybe, maybe not. So yeah, so far that's my plans. Um, I've got another piece of steel. That steel was from a TV board. So I will be cutting some more out for the LM2596s. That guy right there. So yeah. So that kind of proves that uh, lithium iron phosphate has a memory effect. That's only like uh, 0.1% or something. The difference between 1272 and 1304. So yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. And uh, keep up with your awesome builds. I'm trying to keep up, but I'm trying to do things too perfectly. Because, well... I didn't need to calibrate them all, but I'm glad I did because I'd be getting some false readings. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.